Now we're going to put on the timing cover. But first, before I do that, I want to verify my timing marks again. The bottom crank gear is at 12 o'clock. Cam gear is at 6 o'clock. Everything is there where it's supposed to be. Everything is set. Cam button is in. And I'm ready. Now, I normally don't use a lot of silicone uh, when I'm putting together an engine, but as you can see, there's spots in here same thing on the water pump holes where if I don't use some I'm going to end up with some leakage so I've already covered the gasket I will just throw a little extra in those spots and I'm not saying much I'm using a very I'm very slight with what I use but I don't want a bunch of leaks all over either. So we'll just put a little extra on the spots where I know the scratches seem to be and them are scratches from the factory, it's nothing that I put in there. Then I will put the coated gasket in place Once that is in place, I will put a little bit of lubricant in my seal before I put that in because after I install this, a little bit will be a little bit harder to get at. I also will put a little anti-seize, never seize, copper plate, this one isn't copper but I like to put that on so the next time if there is a next time that I end up taking this apart it makes it a little easier to disassemble. Now you don't want to put any of this on bolting not on an engine where it requires torque because it changes your torque specification so you don't want to put it on that but I always put it on snowmobile clutch clutch to shaft connections and stuff like that especially on taper fit because it really makes a difference on getting it back apart later on I bought brand new bolting, a new timing cover. Some people hate anti-seize, and the reason they hate anti-seize is on my hand, because it tends to get all over everything. And that may be true. I use it on brake jobs, any type of a sliding surface, especially if it can get rusty like brakes can. The steel parts that I have that I'm putting on this engine, like this timing tab, which is the original timing tab to this engine, um, I'm painting black, sandblasting them, cleaning them up, painting them black. That kind of stuff usually doesn't get to the point where it 
flakes off or nothing. It's usually the cast, which is always impregnated with oil and no matter what it is, being a welder that I am, whether it's cast aluminum or cast steel, it's always very porous and whenever you've got something that's porous it observes it absorbs the oils and greases and contaminants from the area and then when you have to weld on it or you have to do something with it later it's always a pain so the first time around when it's new doesn't have any oil on it, it's okay. Second time around and later on beyond that, there's always issues. Go back around a couple times just to verify tightness. Don't break the bolts off, but they got to be tight. Gasket will take a set. So going around a couple times is valuable. And the tiny chain cover is uh, installed.